Welcome to the Plain English Public Health Weekly Report. I'm Richard Greenland, and today is April 10th, 2021. As always, we start with our COVID-19 statistics. Worldwide, we have over 135 million cases and over 2.9 million deaths. In the United States, we have nearly 32 million cases and over 575,000 deaths. I'm sure you've noticed that this weekly report is on a Saturday instead of our typical Friday. Um, Due to personal scheduling issues, um, going forward, our public health weekly reports uh, will actually be on Saturdays now. Um, So COVID-19 daily cases are going up once again. Um, It's not getting better right now, not not at this moment anyways. We were better for a while, and then it started going back up again. Um, We're getting close to getting to the point where we should be able to go back to normal, but it hasn't happened yet, so we need to continue following those CDC guidelines. Um, President Biden moved up the deadline this week for uh, states to make available to all adults, regardless of medical condition or age or any other factor, um, to have that those vaccines, uh, all the different types of COVID-19 vaccines, become available to all people. Um, it is now, the deadline is now April 19th. Um, it used to be May 1st. Um, Thankfully, most states are already at the point where they're able to make those vaccines available to everyone. Um, There are a few holdouts, though, but thankfully they do seem to be moving toward uh, getting to that deadline. Um, So hopefully in just a little over a week from today, um, all adults, regardless of where you are in the United States, will be able to get the vaccine. Um, So that's a plus. Um, throughout the United States, about 80% of K-12 through educators and staff um, are, have now uh, received at least one vaccine dose. Um, so schools should be opening up as quickly as they possibly can while still following the CDC guidelines. Um, things are becoming much safer now. Um, in fact, the CDC stated that if everyone works together and follows those guidelines that they've set, um, we should be able to see um, pretty much all schools throughout the United States go back to full in-person learning by September. Um, Of course, if some schools want to keep uh, more of a hybrid model um, for some of their students that that thrive more on the online learning, that's totally fine. That's up to those school districts. Um, But we should be able to get everyone back to in-person learning as it was before by September. Um, The CDC also said that fully vaccinated people can resume traveling. So we're slowly getting back to normal here. We're not quite there yet. The pandemic is still around, um, but we're getting close. So please hold on for a little bit longer. Keep wearing those face masks, avoiding large crowds, uh, practicing social distancing, and washing your hands. Uh, Based on the number of vaccines given, um, Israel may have already reached herd immunity. Um, It's one of those things that's hard to truly measure, um, but it does look like they're pretty, if they're not there, they're really super close, but most likely they have reached herd immunity. Um, The UK, um, according to one study at least, also looks like it may reach herd immunity by next week or the week after. Um, Other scientists say that it's not quite there and and it'll be maybe a month or two, but it's getting close regardless. Uh, The United States, unfortunately, is a bit further behind. you know, we've got a, a larger population to begin with, but we also have a lot of people that are holding out on, on getting the vaccine. We've basically gotten to the point where a lot of people who want the vaccine have gotten it. I mean, there's still quite a few that want it that have not gotten the vaccine, at least a single dose. But uh, most uh, or a lot of people have gotten at least one dose that, that want it. Um, we're getting to the point where a lot of people that are left that haven't gotten the vaccine are those that don't want it or are at least hesitant hesitant about getting it. Um, and, and that can be a really big problem because if there are enough people that are, that are not getting the vaccine, we may never reach herd immunity. Um, and so we really need to have everyone get that vaccine. Um, if you don't care about your own immunity, please get the vaccine anyway for everyone else's uh, benefit. Um, the vaccines are safe. Um, there have been numerous studies, and they have all found that any possible dangerous side effects are rarer 
then even the side effects of common medications uh, like you know high cholesterol medications or blood pressure medications, diabetes medications, um, the vaccine side effects um, that are dangerous are much more rare. Uh, we're talking one in millions is what we're seeing here as far as those dangerous side effects. So you're not going to get any major bad side effects from getting the vaccine. Um, please don't believe the hacks on social media that claim without any evidence that you're going to turn into a zombie or have something else super bad happen to you just because you got the vaccine. There have been millions of people throughout the world that have gotten these vaccines and millions of people are healthier for it. Um, there have been tons of studies done. All the evidence points to vaccines being safe. The benefits far outweigh the risks. It's not even close. Um, so please believe the actual science you know, believe those that are actually working at making sure that we're safe and not those that are just trying to build a social media following by giving shock factor, um, you know, trying to, you know, make people outraged or afraid or whatever. We don't, we don't want to rely on the fear. We want to rely on, uh, you know, good things such as our uh, desire to help other people. We're trying to get these vaccines to everyone so that everyone can be safe and healthy. Um, so please, get the vaccine. Uh, the CDC director, Dr. Walensky, said this week that the B117 variant, the one that uh, we originally saw in the UK, um, it has now become the dominant variant in the United States. Um, the B117 variant, as we've mentioned before, um, is uh, more easily transmitted um, and it does seem to be a little more dangerous. Thankfully, the vaccines um, that we currently have are very effective against it, um, as are you know the normal CDC guidelines like wearing a mask, social distancing, etc. Um, in non-COVID news, uh, the CDC officially stated this week that racism uh, is a serious threat to public health. Um, we mentioned that the American Medical Association also said this in, in some previous reports. Um, and just as I explained back then, uh, within the public health uh, profession, this has been common knowledge. All of us know it. We all know that racism is a terrible thing as far as public health is concerned. It's a terrible thing as far as anything is concerned. But you know, specifically for public health, we know that racism causes all sorts of issues in relation to public health. Um, so this has been common knowledge, but it is so refreshing to have so many organizations, not just the AMA or the CDC now, but there have been a lot of others um, that have come out um, just in the last year or two, um, just saying the same thing, that racism is dangerous, not just from a social perspective, even though that's a big thing, but also from an actual health standpoint. Racism is dangerous. We need to get rid of racism. Um, and for those of you who say you can only get rid of racism by not talking about it, that doesn't happen. You have to talk about it. You have to communicate. You have to work on it. Um, you know, we need to bring everyone to the table. We need to make sure that everyone is helping everyone else. And my hope is that with all these uh, organizations um, go, you know, publicly stating that racism is detrimental, that we'll finally get some momentum um, to to get rid of racism. Maybe we'll finally get rid of it completely. Um, you know, it's, it's something that's been a dream of many people for many, many, many years. Um, but hopefully we can work towards it all together. So thank you for watching the Plain English Public Health Weekly Report for April 10th, 2021. Um, as always, we've got links uh, below the video um, for information that we went over today and also uh, stuff that we weren't able to get to today. Um, so please check out those links and uh, get more information on that. I'm Richard Greenland, and you have a healthy weekend.